Eastview High School, where the Liberty Hill Panthers are taking on the Eastview Patriots here in this District 25-5A matchup. Liberty Hill comes into this game 4-3 in district play, where the Patriots, meanwhile, are 2-5 in district play. Tonight's game marks the second half of district play, where Liberty Hill will face the same teams they did in the first half, just at either their home or opposing ballparks. We just listened to the National Anthem, and we are about to get ready for first pitch here at Eastview Ballpark. Starting lineup tonight for the Panthers, uh, this afternoon, excuse me, Ryan Leary leading off, hit shortstop, bank second, the designated hitter, Andrew Thomas, bank third, the second baseman, Jackson Knox, batting cleanup, the center fielder, Logan Dyer, batting fifth, the third baseman, Cade Nunchwander, batting sixth, the left fielder, Cash Durkin. Batting 7th, the catcher, Garrett Neely. Batting 8th, the right fielder, Jack Stavanoa. And batting 9th, the first baseman, Brody Blake. Pitcher on the mound for the Patriots is number 8, Tyler Champagne. Champagne will look to shut down this Panther offense, coming off of an extra inning win last night against the Glen Grizzlies. Should be able to hit that PA nice and loud as we are right under a speaker here in Eastview. You may also be able to hear the wind. This is a windy one. Wind coming out of the north. Blowing towards right field. Blowing towards right field here at Eastview Ballpark. Leary will step up to the plate for the first pitch of the game. Champagne will work from the stretch. He'll take his sign from the catcher, Jaden Reynolds. First pitch to Leary. Fastball. Low for ball number one. Storyline of tonight's or this afternoon's game is the Panther offense needs to come alive. Lower your gain, you're overmodulated. Will do. Hit that fastball, hit in the right field. Right fielder chasing it, unable to make the catch as it's out of play. After a foul ball, Lou will have a 1 1 count. Larry steps back up to the box. 1-1 one, one count facing Champagne. Pitch from Champagne. I grounded hardly to the first base Mc McLaughlin. McLaughlin will step on the bag for out number one. The ground out from Leary brings up Thomas to the plate. Thomas will look to reach base here in his first at bat. Had the game winning fielder's choice last night against the Grizzlies. First pitch, fastball, low, 1 0 count. Champagne set now. Pitch to Thomas. That fastball called strike one on the outside corner. This is the lone afternoon game on the Panthers schedule this year due to star testing earlier this week. Pitch from Champagne. That fastball bounces. Ball two. This week, freshman took the English one star, and on Thursday, sophomores took the English two star. UIL doesn't allow playing on state testing days. This pitch from Champagne. 
That curveball, swung on and missed, brings the count to two and two. Champagne, the typical Eastview shortstop, got the nod on the mound tonight. This afternoon, he'll look to do something with it. That hit is lined in the center field by Thomas. Thomas will round first, and he'll have a single. Good piece of hitting by Thomas. Took the pitch on the outside part of the plate. Hit it right up the middle, through the hole for a single. Single by Thomas brings up the, the three-hole hitter, number eight, Jackson Knox. Big part of the win last night against the Grizzlies. Pitched two innings of relief on the three innings of relief on the mound, excuse me. And kept the Panthers in that ball game. Champagne will check. Thomas set now. First pitch to Knox. Curveball. Grounded through the hole at shortstop and third base. That'll be a sec another single for the Panthers. Liberty Hill with runners on first and second now. We'll bring up the cleanup hitter, number five, Logan Dyer. Center fielder, number five, Logan Dyer. One out here in the top half of the first inning. On this Saturday afternoon matchup in District 25 5A. Champagne steps off the rubber. He'll take his sound he'll take his signs from his catcher, Jaden Reynolds. Champagne checks Thomas, set. First pitch to Dyer. That fastball hit the right field. Thomas will be held at third base, and the Panthers will have the bases loaded with one out here after three consecutive singles. Three singles for the Panthers have loaded the bases. Caden Newtonschwander will step up to the plate. Schwander will step up to the plate. He'll have the bases loaded and we'll look for the Panthers to strike first here. Dyer on first, Knox on second, Thomas on third. Three consecutive singles. Schwander looking to do the same here. First pitch from Champagne. That fastball fouled out of play for strike one. Wind gusting in here. Big gust of wind right now. Neutronder at the plate with a no one count. Pitch to Neutronder. Fastball fouled back. Works the count to 0 2. This wind here today should be friendly for the defending team as balls in the air should kind of die. Be hard to hit a ball out today as it always is. Oh, Champagne with an 0-2 count to Neutronder. Pitch. That fastball bounces. Thomas will be able to score on this one easily. Liberty Hill will take a 1-0 lead. Something you have noticed at the CCU Patriot Ballpark is the massive space behind the plate. You can probably tell from our camera angle that there's probably 50 30 to 50 feet behind the catcher to the backstop. So anything past the catcher will be a base or two today. The counter to that is it is bricks. So if it's hard off the backstop, they'll bounce back to the catcher. Could prevent some issues here. Pitch to Neutronder. That fastball hit in the right field. It's going, right fielder going back on it. Able to make the catch. Knox will tag. So will Dyer. The Panthers will go to a 2 nothing lead with two outs here in the top of the first. Liberty Hill able to... Oh, never mind. They're going to say he left early. So the score, that'll be the two out, second out of the inning. And we'll go to the bottom half of the first. Liberty Hill with a one nothing lead, I believe. We'll take a short break and we'll come back with some clarification. Looking for future leaders we can trust and believe in? 
Look no further than the high school student-athletes right here in Texas. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It begins by making their grades and being on time for practice. It includes learning to listen, following directions, accepting responsibility, being a good role model. And it's about respect for officials, opponents, the rules, and each other. The result? It transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. High school sports. There's so much more than just a game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Well, welcome back here to ECU High School. Liberty Hill leading one to nothing after a unfortunate double play on a sacrifice fly from Cade Nunchwander. Knox, they called leaving early from third base for the third out of that inning. Starting pitcher for the Panthers tonight, this afternoon, excuse me, I'm so used to the Friday, Tuesday night schedule. This afternoon is gonna be Blaze Milam. Milam, the most promising pitching prospect for Liberty Hill. Had a very solid game against Rouse. Second game of the season, and a very good relief appearance against Cedar Park. Milam will face Huerta, a leadoff hitter for the Patriots. Milam, two-seam curveball combination, his first pitch. Two-seam, outside for ball one. One zero count for Huerta. Pitch for Milam. Fastball chased, tipped by Huerta for strike one. Milam working from the windup. Pitch. Fastball fouled weakly. Out of play down the third baseline. But works a count to one and two. Field umpire going to tell the Eastview Patriots to keep their things in their dugout. A common pet peeve among uh, high school umpires. 1 2 count, mile on the pitch. Curveball, where to able to watch it, works the count to 2 and 2. Patriots 2 and 5 in district play, looking to improve that number tonight. This pitch from Milo. That fastball grounded weakly to the third base coach for the Patriots. Milam looking for an out pitch here. 2-2 two -two count for Huerta. Garrett Neely, the starting catcher tonight, got the nod. This pitch from Milam. Curveball outside. Brings the count to full. Milam winds up pitch. Fastball chased. That'll be a strikeout for out number one. Milam able to save the full count for a strikeout to Huerta. One out here in the bottom of the first. Liberty Hill currently tr leading one to nothing. Milam first pitch. First pitch to Champagne. Grounded foul for strike one. Champagne the starting pitcher for the Patriots. Will look to help his own cause in his first step back. Milam, pitch. That curveball. Called low. Brings the count to one and one. Wind out of center field today. This pitch from Milam. That fastball in there. Grounded weakly to Knox. Knox able to feel it cleanly. Throw over to play for out number two. Two outs here in the bottom half of the inning. Brings up McKinley McLaughlin, the Eastview first baseman. Milam, 
first pitch to McLaughlin. High fastball for ball one. Pitch from Milam. That fastball in there for strike one. One one counts McLaughlin. Milam pitch. That curveball hit weakly in the right center field. Stavanoa camped out under it, but it will make the catch for out number three. We are heading to the second inning. I am Jason Deemner, and you're listening to Liberty Hill Panther Baseball on Vibe Live. Honey, isn't it amazing? What? The, the sacrifice, the dedication, the grit. I mean, they really set an example, don't they? Oh, well, no question. Today's high school athletes are truly special. Not the athletes. Well, who? The officials. Oh. Today's student athletes are truly special. But there's something pretty great about the men and women who officiate their games, too. Like the way they're giving back to their communities. Officiating is a terrific way to stay in shape, meet new people, and stay connected to the game you love. But the biggest reason of all? We need more qualified high school officials here in Texas. And without them, the rest of us would have a whole lot less to cheer about. High school games need officials. High school sports need you. Great call, Rob! Yeah! Interested in becoming a licensed high school official? Go to highschoolofficials.com to learn more and begin the application process. Welcome back to Eastview High School. Liberty Hill currently leading 1-0 here in the top of the second against the Eastview Patriots. Liberty Hill 4-3 and three in district play after the extra inning win last night over Glenn. Glenn nearly upset the Panthers. The Panthers able to hold on in extra innings thanks to a fielder's choice RBI by Andon Thomas in the bottom half of the eighth. Champagne back on the mound for the Patriots. And Cash Durkin will be the leadoff hitter for Liberty Hill. For Liberty Hill, nearly in the Neely on deck, Stavano in the hole, following Durkin. Cash getting the... Cash getting the starting role in left field tonight. Giving Brody Boy the job at first base. Champagne, first pitch to Durkin. That curveball hit high into right field by Durkin. Durkin will run it. Eastview right fielder, camped out under, able to make the catch for out one. The catcher, number two, Garrett Neely. Brings up number two, Garrett Neely. Yesterday in the bottom of the eighth, able to lay down a perfect sacrifice bunt to set up for the winning run. And that may have helped his cause at the starting roll tonight. Neely, with one out, steps in into the batter's box. Champagne from the stretch, first pitch. Fastball foul tipped for strike one. O one one count to Neely after the first pitch swinging fastball. Champagne looking to calm down here in the top of the second. It's pitch from Champagne. Fastball down and away where it's a count to one and one. One one to Neely. Looking to keep some pressure on the Patriots. Champagne, set, pitch. That curveball's high. Neely watches it for ball two. Two one count for Neely. Champagne delivers. That fastball high works the count to three and one. Wind blowing straight in now. Shifted from blowing out to right field to blowing straight in now. Nearly at the bat. Here's the pitch from Champagne. That fastball fouled back out of play by Neely. Missed my Tahoe by our five out four cars. Full count to Neely now. Champagne looking to retire him here. Pitch from Champagne. That fastball low. Neely will take his base and jog down to first. Good eye there by Neely. Not chasing. But the fastball low and away. Real windy right now. Trying to make sure none of my equipment blows. 
goes away. If they not able to hold it down, then they step no now step off. Step out of the plate. Home plate up are not ready. He's ready now. Neely on first base. Champagne working from the stretch with Stavanoa at bat for Liberty Hill. On deck for the Panthers is Bodie Blay. Champagne. Some picks. Neely. Neely back in time. Excuse me, it's going to be Maldonado, the courtesy runner for Neely as he's the starting catcher tonight. This afternoon, excuse me. Just know, whenever I say tonight, it's this afternoon. Champagne. Pitch to Savanoa. First pitch lined into right field. Maldonado will round second. He'll head for third. Well, Liberty Hill will have runners at first and third after the single from Stavanoa hard into right field. Now runners on first and third with one out here in the top of the second inning. And Bodie Blay, the nine-hole hitter, will step up to the plate. Blay, look, Blay looking to make the most of his limited opportunities in this district campaign. Looking to capitalize here with an RBI. Champagne taking a sign from Reynolds. Check Stavanoa before coming set. First pitch to play. Third ball in the dirt for ball one. Good block by Reynolds behind the dish. Making sure that pass ball doesn't allow it to run. He missed it earlier. He has a very large area behind the plate and could really cause some damage with a lot of pass balls. Runners first and third for Liberty Hill. Champagne on the mound for the Patriots facing play. Champagne checking the runners. Both back in time. Maldonado on third, Stavano on first base for Liberty Hill. Blay with a 1-0 count, looking to capitalize. They pick first, Stavano back in time. Eastview Patriots trying to find, trying to wiggle their way out of this one. Trying to keep this game as reasonable as they can. Score some runs in the bottom half of these innings. Champagne set will face play. That fastball outside brings the count to 2 0. Oh. 2 0 count to play. Champagne set delivers. That fastball popped out of play. Works the count to 2 and 1. Play. Taking his signs back into the box. Champagne checks Stavano on first base. Comes set. Pitch. He'll check the runners actually. Once again, both easy, both easily back. No throw made by Champagne. Play with a 2-1 count at the plate for the Panthers. On deck is Ryan Leary. Champagne the pitch. A little hit and run play there. Play fouls it down the first baseline. Brings the count to two and two. Two and two, I put a bet that Stavano is running here. Trying to eliminate the ground ball to a play potential. said, Liberty Hill with two runners in scoring position, looking to extend their lead here in the top half of the second inning. Champagne taking a sign from Reynolds. Now set. First pitch to Leary. Curveball inside for ball one. Leary 
Ray looking to drive in some base runners. Texas State commit honored at senior night last night against Glenn. Looks to continue his hot hitting streak. Edge from Champagne. That fastball and Dirk gets from Reynolds. Maldonado a good jump on it. Will be up easily. Liberty Hill now leading 2 0. unable to keep it in front of him. Be a pass ball error for the Patriots. Thomas on deck for Liberty Hill. They're going to play with the runner on third base. Champagne set. Pitch. A fastball outside. Watched for strike one by Leary. substance on there can affect your spin rate. Now in a 3-1 count, Leary. That fastball grounded to third base. He'll try to beat it out at first. Bad throw. Leary will head to second base. Runner will score. So Liberty Hill now at 3-0, and Leary will reach on the air by the Patriots. Liberty Hill now at 3-0. Looks like Wagoner, the ECU third baseman, unable to make a good throw to McLaughlin at first. Allows a Panther run to score, with Andon Thomas stepping up to the plate, now with Leary in scoring position. Champagne checks Leary, set now. First pitch to Thomas, third ball popped high up in the air. Third shortstop calling it, able to make the play for route number three. We're going to take a short extended break here. I run to the restroom facilities here at East New Patriots. That Taco Cabana Dr. Pepper is ready to release. We'll be right back. You're listening to Liberty Hill Panther Baseball.
are back here. So uh, we joined you with a 2-2 count from Milan, first pitch here. That fastball swung on and missed by Peyton Adams for a strikeout. And out number one. So that's one out. We are back here at East U Patriots in the bottom half. A top of the third. Jane Reynolds stepping up to the plate for the Patriots. Milam not allowing a hit so far. Excuse me, we're in the bottom of the second, not the top of the third. Milam winds up pitch here. That fastball winds right back at Milam. It will duck under it, and Reynolds will have a single. One out here in the inning. Reynolds able to take the first pitch fastball. Hit it right up the middle, back at Milam. Now they'll have a courtesy runner in for Reynolds, the catcher for the Patriots. At the plate now is number nine, Ben Berglund, the Eastview shortstop. Milam looking for a ground ball. And for the Panthers, a turn and double play here. Milam working from the stretch for the first time tonight. We'll pick. We'll pick the courtesy runner. It looks like Barkley. Barkley back in time. Milam set. Pitch to the plate. That fastball fouled back by Berglund for strike one. Liberty, if you're, if you're just joining us, Liberty Hill currently leading 3 to nothing in this afternoon district matchup between the Eastview Patriots and the Liberty Hill Panthers. Liberty Hill able to jump to an early lead and they'll hope to keep it that way. They're going to call a balk on that pickoff attempt. Not sure what they caught them there for. No explanation given. Now an 0-1 count to Berglund. Milam with a runner on second base after the, the called balk. Pitch. That fastball in there for strike two on Berglund. I'm going to guess that balk was called as I didn't say he didn't come set. But I don't believe on a pickoff. You don't have to come set on a pickoff. Milam checks the runner on second base. Goes to the plate. Curve ball. Berglund able to watch it. Works the count to one and two. Barkley on second base for the Patriots. He's few looking to push across a few runs here in the bottom of the second inning. Milam set. Checks Barkley. Steps off. Barkley will walk back to second base. Larry standing right behind Barkley, ready for a pickoff attempt if they want one. Milam elects to go to the plate. That fastball called low works a count to two and two. Some heckling from the Panther crowd. That probably will not help their calls at the plate tonight. 2-2 count. Larry calls for a pick. They look like they the ball gets through, actually. Larry unable to keep it in his glove. Barkley will stay at second base. Clean tag there. May have had Barkley. Two two count for Berglund, the shortstop for the Patriots. Milam trying to retire him with this pitch here. Steps off, wants a new sign from Neely. Milam, pitch to the plate. That curveball swung on and missed by Berglund for out number two. Now with two outs in the inning, Liberty Hill with some breathing room. As Ryan Pullen heads to the plate. Two outs for the Panthers. Eastview with the runners in scoring position. Pullen looking to drive in Barkley here. 
My left, are they called pick? Designed pick play there. But the base runner Barkley back in time. Milam checks Barkley. Pitch to the plate. That fastball in there for strike one. Pulling back into the box after watching the first pitch fastball has no one count. Milam set. Watching his base runner. Finally delivers for curveball. Called strike two. 0 2 count on the pull in. Milam with some breathing room may look to get pulling to chase one here. I predict a curveball outside looks like that's what it looks like Neely's setting up for. That fastball, a little outside, was where the Panthers wanted it. Pulling, not chasing it. Now a 1 2 count. Two outs here in the bottom of the second inning. Mile on the pitch. That curveball, foul tipped, nearly able, unable to hang on. Keeps the count at one and two. Barkley on second base for the Patriots. Polin at the plate. Milam pitch to Polin. That fastball grounded weakly to Bray. He'll field it cleanly. Step on the bag for out number three. We're heading to the third inning here at Liberty Hill. Or in Eastview where Liberty Hill looks to extend their lead on the Eastview Patriots. You're listening to Liberty Hill Panther Baseball on Vibe Live. Honey, isn't it amazing? What? The, the sacrifice, the dedication, the grit. I mean, they really set an example, don't they? Oh, well, no question. Today's high school athletes are truly special. Not the athletes. Well, who? The officials. Oh. Today's student athletes are truly special. But there's something pretty great about the men and women who officiate their games, too. Like the way they're giving back to their communities. Officiating is a terrific way to stay in shape, meet new people, and stay connected to the game you love. But the biggest reason of all? We need more qualified high school officials here in Texas. And without them, the rest of us would have a whole lot less to cheer about. High school games need officials. High school sports need you. Great call, Rob! Yeah! Interested in becoming a licensed high school official? Go to highschoolofficials.com to learn more and begin the application process. Well, welcome back here to the Eastview, Eastview Ballpark. While I have some dead time here, we'd like to thank Academy Sports and Outdoors as the presenting sponsor of Vibe Live this spring. For all the ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. Gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Now we are now in the top of the third inning here. Jackson Knox will face Tyler Champagne of the Patriots. Champagne set. First pitch to Knox. That fastball runs inside for strike one. Oh, 1 count to Knox after he watched the first pitch fastball from Champagne. Champagne set now. Delivers. That fastball swung on and missed by Knox. Knox a little early on it. Big gap here in left center field and down the left field line. Knox, if you remember last night, had a double down the left field line that tied the ball game in the bottom of the seventh inning. This pitch from Champagne is hit down the left field line. That will be another double for Knox. Maybe more. Knox rounding first now. Gets a second. Will round second. He'll be he'll stay at second base. A leadoff double from Knox down the left field line. Looks to set up for some more Panther offense. The double from Knox brings up Dyer to the plate. 
Dyer in his last at bat. Part of those consecutive singles for the Panthers. Singled into right field. He'll look to do the same here and get an RPI to his stat sheet. Champagne working from the stretch with runners on. Checks Knox. Goes to the plate. Dyer shows bunt, able to lay it down. He'll beat this one out. It looks like no runners there. And that's a great bunt from Logan Dyer. Able to push it right by the pitcher. Nobody covering. And I'll be now have runners at first and third for Cade Nunchwander. Nunchwander last at bat. Hit a fly ball into right field. Would have been a sacrifice fly. They elected that Knox left early from third. So no RBI for Nunchwander. Runners on first and third for the Panthers. No outs here in the top of the third. Champagne taking a sign from Reynolds. Checks. Dyer. Now Knox. Delivers the new Chwander. First pitch fastball at the letters. Called a strike. On deck for the Liberty Hill is number 24, Cash Durkin. Champagne set now. Pitch to Nunchwander. Fastball low. Works the count to one and one. Liberty Hill offense looking promising after it's been lacking in the last couple of games. They'll look to keep that up as they head through the second half of the district schedule. After this game today, we'll play Rouse on Tuesday at Rouse High School. Champagne will check his runners. Both runners back in time. We'd welcome you to join us for that Rouse game. It'll be Tuesday night at 7 o'clock. First pitch will be live at about 6.50. Champagne now. Pitch to Knox. That's a new Chwander. Excuse me. Fouled hard down the left field line. Brings a count to 1 and 2. New Chwander with a 1 2 count. Back into the box now. Champagne. We'll look to get the first out for the Patriots. Dyer on first base, Knox on third, Nunchwander at the plate. Champagne picks first, Dyer back in time. Wind blowing straight in. Once again, we'll put anything in the air. will effectively be useless here. Liberty looking for hard hits on the ground through the holes. Pitch from Champagne. Hit blooped into right center field out fall. Knox will score. Dyer trying to take third. Will be there in time. RBI single from Nunchwander. Scores Knox. Moves Dyer to third and he'll be at first base. Liberty Hill now leading four to nothing. Now, runners on the corners again for Liberty Hill. This time, Durkin at the plate. Durkin will look to continue the success of the batters before him and find a groove at this at bat. No outs in the inning. Liberty Hill looking to score a lot here. Champagne set. First pitch to Durkin. Fastball fouled straight back by the left fielder. one count after the foul ball by Durkin. Nunchwander on first base. Checked by Champagne. He's back in time. Dyer on third for Liberty Hill. Champagne the pitch to Durkin. That fastball popped out of play into the parking lot right behind the field here at ECU High School. ECU has a nice little small parking lot for the buses, coaches. It's also where I managed to park today. <laughs> Saved me a long walk from the normal parking lot. Runners on first and third, pitch to Durkin. High fastball, brings the count to one and two. 
as designed by the Patriots. Looking to get Dirk into chase. He was able to watch it. And he'll look to stay alive on this one. Champagne set now. Pitch. That fastball highs chased. Neuschwander will steal second base. So that'll be one out now in the inning. So we'll now have one out. Runners on second and third. Brings up Garrett Neely. Catcher number two, Garrett Neely. Neely will look to help his pitcher's cause here. Two runners in scoring position. A single should score two. Neunschwander with decent speed on second base. Champagne taking a sign from his catcher, Reynolds. Set now. Checks Neunschwander. Goes to the plate. First pitch. Fastball low and away. 1-0. Champagne steps off the rubber. Take a new sign from Reynolds here. On deck for Liberty Hills, number seven, Jack Stavanoa. Champagne, pitch to Neely. Fastball, high and away. Works a count to 2-0. Oh. Neely has a good eye at the plate. He's not one that will chase very often. 2-0 oh count to Neely, Champagne. Pitch number three here. That fastball in the zone. Gets through the hole. One run will score. Nunchwana being waved around. There will be a play at the plate here. Bad throw from Eastview. Neely will take second on the throw home. And a single through the hole at first and second will give the Panthers a 6-0 lead. A 2-RBI single from Neely. Off the end of the bat. Able to get through the hole at first and second base. Neely also smart base running. Taking second on the throw home by Huerta in right field. Liberty Hill now leading 6 to nothing. Only one out in the inning. And it looks like Eastview is going to have a little discussion at the mound here. So we're going to have a pitching change. So we'll take a short break and we'll be back here at ECU Ballpark. You're listening to Liberty Hill Panther Baseball on Bike Live. Meet Josh. Hi, everybody. Josh is a high school basketball player, solid shooter, great teammate. Hey, don't forget my tenacious D. And he's my son. Uh huh. So, what does Josh do to be the best basketball player he can be? I play tennis. Studies show that student athletes here in Texas who play more than one high school sport are more likely to excel. Tennis does more than improve Josh's conditioning. It gives him a fresh competitive outlet, reduces the risk of injury by cross training, and introduces him to different coaching techniques and new friends. Don't get me wrong, hoops are my first love. Tennis just gives me a little break. So when the new season begins, Josh isn't burned out on basketball. He's eager to play. And you can see the difference in his game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. back here to Eastview High School. Well, it looks like Joe Quintanella is on the mound for the Patriots. He'll look to have some success against this potent Panther offense this afternoon. Liberty Hill jumping out early, something they failed to done, failed to do, excuse me, in their last few district games. Currently leading six to nothing with Jack Stavano at the plate. Runner at second base is Ty Maldonado, courtesy runner for Garrett Neely, catcher tonight. Quintanella set. First pitch to Stavanoa. 
is hit hard into right field. That's going to be off the wall. Stavano around first base. Maldonado will score easily, and Stavano will have a stand-up double. Will push the Panther lead to seven to nothing. Only one out in the sitting. After the RBI double from Stavanoa, brings up Brody Blay. Facing Quintanella for the first time. Looking to add an RBI to his column. Quintanella, first pitch to Blay. Say in the right center field. Stavanoa will tag. He'll try to advance here. He will advance. And Brody will have the sacrifice fly. Sacrifi the sacrifice fly from Blay there. Gives us two outs in the inning. And Ryan Leary will head to the plate. They're just joining us. Liberty Hill up 7-0 to zero on the Eastview Patriots. After a strong offensive showing in these first three innings. Eastview. Starting pitcher has been pulled, and now Quintanella is in in relief. First pitch to Leary. It's called a ball. We'll bring the count to 1-0. and oh. Quintanella set. Pitch. And fastball low as well. Leary with the 2-0 count with the runner on third base. Quintanella working for the stretch with Stavanoa on third base. Pitch here. Grounded weakly into second place. Leary will try to beat it out. He will not. The out number three will head to the bottom of the third, but not before Liberty Hill add on, added on four more. You're listening to Liberty Hill Panther Baseball on Vibe Live. Looking for future leaders we can trust and believe in? Look no further than the high school student athletes right here in Texas. High school sports teach young people how to be effective leaders. It begins by making their grades and being on time for practice. It includes learning to listen, following directions, accepting responsibility, being a good role model. And it's about respect for officials, opponents, the rules, and each other. The result? It transcends sports. It gives us hope for the future. High school sports. There's so much more than just a game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Well, welcome back to Patriot Ballpark here in Georgetown, where Liberty Hill is currently leading the Patriots 7 to nothing here in the bottom of the third inning. Milam back on the mound for Liberty Hill. Has looked real good so far. Only allowing one hit on a single up the middle from, from Wagoner. Excuse me, Wagoner at the plate now. Pitcher Milam. First pitch fastball fouled off the foot. It'll be strike one. Milam working from the windup. Second pitch to Wagner. Fastball grounded weakly. Foul. Bring the count to 0 and 2. Wagner back in the box. After two early foul balls, Milam will let's retire him here. Curve ball. A little outside. Works the count to one and two. Milam. Pitch. That fastball is outside. Milam not happy with his landing spot there. He'll bring the count to two and two. Milam, only a freshman. Had some dominant Liberty Hill outing so far. That curveball is outside, 
and works the count to full after an early 0-2 count. Island full count, here's the pitch. That fastball grounded into the Patriot dugout. Good job by Wagoner to stay alive. Milo taking a sign from Neely. Delivers. Pitch. That fastball. Low. And Wagoner will take his base. After that walk, Ellis will step in the box for his first step out of the game. Milan, first pitch to Ellis, hit weakly to Leary, they'll have a chance at a double play here, and they will, no, oh, they had him. One out here. We'll the right Hill fan's not happy. The one out. Huerta at the plate. Milam looking for a ground ball here to end the bottom of the third. Milam picks Wagoner back in time. Huerta, leadoff batter for the Patriots. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball, low and away for ball one. Wind blowing in on this Saturday afternoon. Makes balls in the air, easier to track down for the defense. That fastball low, good block by Neely. Brings the count to 2-0. and oh. set. Checks his runner at first base. Wagoner back in time. One out in the inning. After Ellis lined out to Leary. Now the 2-0 count for, for Huerta. That pitch is low. Brings the count to 3-0. set. The pitch. Fastball. Outside. Called a strike. Wagoner on first base for the Patriots. Hitter is Huerta. That pitch is hitting the le left center field. Probably extra bases for Huerta. They're going to have a play at the plate. Durkin able to track it down. Throw to Durkin. Cut off, unable to get Wagner at the plate, and Eastview will now have a run. Good piece of hitting by Huerta. Throwing a fastball outside, hit into the left center field gap. And he'll a, he has an RBI double there. Milo will now face Quintanilla in his first at-bat of the game. First pitch from Milam. Fouled twice by Quintanilla. It's pretty impressive, actually. Hey, Quintanilla's bat in the zone, and in his follow-through, he actually fouled it again. Milam checks Huerta on second base for the pitch to Quintanilla. They're going to call it Balk. Touch is going to go talk to the field umpire with this one. He just 
wants an explanation. Looks like they'll explain what the problem is here to Milo. And it looks like they're going to say the foot's not on the rubber. It's real hard to be on the rubber on these turf mounds. As they're usually built into the mound and not on top of the mound. Makes it hard to stay on the rubber. Neely telling his pitcher to calm down. As he's facing Quintanella. Pitch. That fastball. High. Works the count to one and one, I believe. One out in this inning. Mitch from Milam. Quintanilla, a single. In the left center field and will score one. Out of score, seven to two. With Quintanella at first base, we'll have a courtesy runner. And number six, Caleb Devin. One out in this inning. Eastview Patriots able to tack on two so far. Runner on first base. Liberty Hill looking to get out of this inning and minimize the damage. Home plate umpire not ready. Milam trying to work fast. Ready now. Milam set. Pitch to McLaughlin. It's lined into right center field. Stavano able to field it cleanly. Runners will stay on first and second for the Patriots. Patriots doing a good job of hitting here in this bottom of the third inning. Able to see Milam for the second time. And with a few base runners on, a few runners scored already, Coach Kyle Busher is going to talk to his pitcher. We'll take a 30 second break and we'll be right back. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Welcome back here at Eastview High School. As a critical point in this game, Liberdale trying to keep a comfortable lead while the Patriots trying to claw their way back here in the bottom of the third inning. Having scored two runs already this far here in the bottom of the third, it looks like Peyton Adams, the cleanup hitter, is going to look to continue their success. Hard wins in from center field right now will help the defensive side of the team Milam, pitch, first pitch to Adams, curveball, called strike one. There is one out in the inning, so a double play would end it. Liberty Hill looking for a ground ball, undoubtedly. Milam, pitch to Adams, it's popped out of play, down the left field line. And I'll bring the count to 0-2. Wind is really blowing right now. I'm sure you can hear it. Milam 0-2 count to Adams, taking a sign from Neely. Checks the runner on second base before going to the plate. Fastball just off the outside plate. Now I'll bring the count to one and two. McLaughlin on first base, Devin on second base for the Patriots. That curveball chased by Adams for out number two. Good curveball by Milam, able to get Adams to chase on the curveball out of the zone. Now with two outs, Liberty Hill is in breathing room. As, as Jaden Reynolds heads up to the plate. Reynolds in his last at bat, able to single up the 
middle for the Patriots' first hit of the ball game. Milam, first pitch to Reynolds. Fastball chased for strike one. Milam set. Working to Reynolds. Pitch. Hit hard. Pass play at first base. And one run will score for the Patriots. McLaughlin around third. He's being waved home. Two runs will score for the Patriots. Now a 7-4 ball game. After a, line, a double from Reynolds down the right field line. ECU able to respond here in the bottom of the third. Putting up four runs and keeping themselves in this game. Liberty Hill a little shaken up right now. Milam set, work into Berglund. First pitch, curveball, outside, 1-0. Milam taking a sign from Neely. Reynolds on second base. Pitch. Fastball hit weakly in the air to Knox. Knox able to retire it to get Liberty Hill out of this inning. We will head to the top of the fourth where Liberty Hill will look to respond. You're listening to Liberty Hill Panther Baseball on Vipe Live. The University Interscholastic League would like to thank its corporate sponsors. Without the generous support of these sponsors, many UIL activities would not be possible. The UIL gives special thanks to Balfour, Baylor Scott & White, Dairy Max, Dairy Queen, Ford, Fox Sports Southwest, Gatorade, Hellas Construction, Max Preps, the NFHS Network, Nike, Register My Athlete, Spalding, and Texas Farm Bureau Insurance. These generous corporate sponsors support the UIL in all its activities, music, academics, and athletics. The UIL appreciates these sponsors and their participation in all that the UIL does in Texas extracurricular activities. On behalf of the UIL and its corporate sponsors, thank you for supporting UIL activities in your community and enjoy the game. Well, welcome back here to Eastview High School and Eastview Patriot Ballpark as Liberty Hill currently trails or currently leads, excuse me, seven to four on the Patriots. The Patriots able to put up four in the bottom half of the third and a gusty one here. Strong winds out of the north here at Eastview High School, situated off of 29 and Highway 130. Leading off the top of the fourth for the Panthers. It's number 23, Andon Thomas, in his third at bat. He'll look to start something or start a Panther retaliation here. First pitch from Quintanella. Fastball in the dirt. Brings the count to 1 0. Quintanella in his second inning of relief, relieving Tyler Champagne after allowing four runs in the first two innings. Quintanella here, the pitch. That fastball's outside. Works the count to 2-0. and Liberty Hill has Thomas at the plate. Knocks on deck. Here's the pitch to Thomas. That fastball fouled for strike one. Liberty Hill in their first game of the second half of the district season looking to continue their success from last night. That ball fouled out of play by Thomas. And now a 2-2 count. So a 2-2 count there. Quintanella, the pitch to Thomas. That curve ball outside works the count to full. Thomas looking to win this at bat here against Quintanella. Pitch. 
Curveball hit down the right field line. And it'll be stopped by Huerta for a leadoff single from Thomas. Leadoff single brings up Jackson Knox to the plate in his last at bat double down the left field line. Second baseman, number eight, Jackson. Quinton Allen now working from the stretch with Thomas on first base. Liberty Hill looking to respond after Eastview scored four in the bottom half of the third. First pitch curveball called strike at the belt. A one count after the first pitch curveball. Thomas on first base for Liberty Hill. Quinton Ellis set, checks Thomas, goes to the plate. That curveball delayed steal from Thomas. Thomas will be there in time. Thrown into center field. Thomas will stay at second base. Now a 1-1 one, one count. Thomas in scoring position. Knox wanted his sign from Coach Hutch. Hutch told him to hit it. Shows bunt. Knox looked to sacrifice Thomas over. Able to lay it down. He may have a base hit here. Knox called out at first base. A bang bang play. Field umpire called him out. Nevertheless, Knox able to move Thomas over. Now the Panthers with a runner on third base and only one out. Wind gusting in from the north. Dyer at the plate for Liberty Hill. Clintonella trying to take a sign from Reynolds. Now set. First pitch to Dyer. Tipped fastball for strike one. one count to Dyer after the first pitch swinging fastball. Quintanel is set. That pitch, curveball, called strike two. Dyer with no two count after two early curveballs from Quintanel. We'll look to respond in the at-bat now. Thomas on third base for Liberty Hill. Pitch to Dyer, curveball, swung on and missed by Dyer for strike two. After round number two, excuse me. Now with two outs, Kate Nuchwander will head to the plate, trying to score that Panther run on third base. Quintanella looking to not allow a run here in the top of the fourth. Wind really moving here. First pitch to Nuchwander. It's a fastball. Called strike one. A one count to Nuchwander. Pitch from Quintanella. That fastball's outside, but it's counts one and one. Went straight out of center field right now. Our camera shaking a little bit. 1-1 one, one count, pitch from Quintanella, fastball way high, brings count to 2-1. and one. Quintanella set, pitch to Neutronder, lined at the second baseman, able to make the play, throw to first for out number 3. We are heading to the bottom of the fourth inning here at East U High School. I'm Jason Heavner, and you're listening to Liberty Hill Panther Baseball on Vibe Live. Honey, isn't it amazing? What? The, the sacrifice, the dedication, the grit. I mean, they really set an example, don't they? Oh, well, no question. Today's high school athletes are truly special. Not the athletes. Ooh. The officials. Oh. Today's student athletes are truly special. But there's something pretty great about the men and women who officiate their games, too. Like the way they're giving back to their communities. 
Officiating is a terrific way to stay in shape, meet new people, and stay connected to the game you love. But the biggest reason of all? We need more qualified high school officials here in Texas. And without them, the rest of us would have a whole lot less to cheer about. High school games need officials. High school sports need you. Great call, Rob! Yeah! Interested in becoming a licensed high school official? Go to highschoolofficials.com to learn more and begin the application process. Welcome back here to ECU High School Patriot Ballpark where Liberty Hill has elected to put Logan Bailey on the mound in relief of Blaze Milam. Milam able to go three innings, allowed four runs. Not a bad performance from the freshman. A little flustered in that third bottom of the third inning. A few unfortunate calls for the Panthers. And the ECU Patriots able to respond, able to put four runs on the board. But Bailey on the mound now. A sophomore from Alaska will look to shut down, shut down, excuse me, the Patriots and keep this Panther lead intact. Bailey, fastball, curveball combination. Able to use the curveball in all counts. Also has a changeup, which has really improved throughout this season. Good throw down from Neely. And it looks like Pullen. Ryan Pullen will lead off for the Patriots. underway here in the bottom of the fourth. Bailey set. First pitch of his outing. Fastball swung on and missed by Pullen for strike one. Pullen way late on the fastball from Bailey. Bailey looking to stay dominant here. Bailey, pitch. That fastball off the zone. Brings the count to one and one. One one count for Pullen. Bailey set pitch. That fastball fouled out of play into the parking lot. Now with a one two count, Pullen will have to look to stay alive. way high. Works the count to full. Full in will look to reach base for the Patriots and continue their offensive performance. Bailey, pitch. That fastball high tipped and chased and caught by Neely for a strikeout and now number one. Good job of Neely of bringing in the foul tip to get the first out of this inning. fix our camera there. As a first pitch from Bailey in there for a called strike. The wind really doing numbers out here at Eastview High School. You can see the flat you can see the flag blowing in. Bailey. One one count for for Bailey there. After the ball. Bailey set Here's the pitch. That fastball in there for strike two. One two count. Here's the pitch. That curveball low for ball two. Bailey, 
pitch here. That's fastball chased for round number two. for the Patriots, looking to reach base here in the bottom of the fourth. Pitch from Bailey, at fastball, little outside, works the count to 2-0. and oh. Bailey, pitch to Ellis, fouled out of play for strike one. Bailey looking to get the Panthers back in the dugouts with the set bat here. Bailey has a sign set now. Pitch to Ellis. Fastball popped out of play down the third baseline. Works account to two and two. count for Ellis. Bailey on the mound for Liberty Hill. Pitch here. That fastball chased by Ellis for out number three. We're heading to the fifth inning here at Eastview High School. You're listening to Liberty Hill Panther Baseball on Vibe Live. Meet Josh. Hi everybody. Josh is a high school basketball player, solid shooter, great teammate. Hey, don't forget my tenacious D. And he's my son. Uh -huh. So, what does Josh do to be the best basketball player he can be? I play tennis. Studies show that student athletes here in Texas who play more than one high school sport are more likely to excel. Tennis does more than improve Josh's conditioning. It gives him a fresh competitive outlet, reduces the risk of injury by cross-training, and introduces him to different coaching techniques and new friends. Don't get me wrong, hoops are my first love. Tennis just gives me a little break. So when the new season begins, Josh isn't burned out on basketball. He's eager to play. And you can see the difference in his game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. On the mound now, for the Patriots, is Ben Berglund, the shortstop. He'll look to keep the Patriots in this ball game as Liberty Hill looks to extend their lead here in the top of the seventh inning, or top of the fifth inning, excuse me. They're currently leading seven to four over the Patriots in this District 25-5A matchup. While we have a moment, we'd like to remind you that Academy Sports and Outdoors is the presenting sponsor of Vibe Live this spring. For all the ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. Gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. For the Panthers, looks like Cash Durkin will be leading off the fifth inning for Liberty Hill. Durkin will look to extend the Panther lead. Try to be a base runner here. On deck for Liberty Hill is Garrett Neely. In the hole will be Jack Stavanoa. At first pitch fastball. To foul out of play by Durkin. Brings the count to 0-1. Pitch from Berglund. Fastball. Out down the right field line. Now Durkin with an 0-2 count. Durkin looking to reach base against Berglund. Pitch here. That curveball way out of the zone. Brings the count to 1-2. and two. Pitch. Curveball again. High and outside. 
inside from Berglund. Unable to find his release point with that one. 2-2 two -two count for Durkin. Pitch here. Chased by Durkin down the left field line. Left fielder under it. Able to make the catch for out number one. Fly out from Durkin. Brings up Garrett Neely. The catcher of, of this afternoon's ball game. One out here in the top of the fifth. Liberty Hill currently leading 7-4 in this district matchup. The only afternoon game on, on the schedule this year. Here's the first pitch from Berglund. Fastball outside of the letters called strike. Oh, 1 count for Neely after the first pitch fastball. Pitch from Berglund. That change up curveball. The breaking ball was swung on and missed there by Neely. Now a no 2 count. Neely will have to defend. Berglund. Taking a sign from Reynolds, nearly calls time. Some disagreements between Berglund and Reynolds. Pitch from Berglund. Fastball way inside to Neely. Brings the count to one and two. here at Eastview. Moving our camera around a lot. I'll try to keep it centered. Pitch from Berglund. That fastball outside works the count to full. Full count for Neely. Facing Ben Berglund, the Patriot pitcher. Pitch. Fastball. Swung on and missed by Neely for out number two. Strikeout by Berglund brings up number seven, Jack Stavano. In his last at bat, doubled down the right field line. He'll look to have the same success here. First pitch, fastball, hit down the right field line. Out of play. Stavano seeing the ball well tonight. Foul ball out of play. Bring it to an 0-1 count. Berglund looking to retire the Panthers here. Pitch to Stavanoa. Fastball in the dirt. Works a count to 1-1. One one. Pitch from Berglund. Now one hit to right field. The right fielder. Huerta able to make the catch for Eastview for round number three. We'll head to the bottom of the fifth inning here at Eastview. You're listening to Liberty Hill Panther Baseball on Vibe Live. Honey, isn't it amazing? What? The, the sacrifice, the dedication, the grit. I mean, they really set an example, don't they? Oh, well, no question. Today's high school athletes are truly special. Not the athletes. Well, who? The officials. Oh. Today's student athletes are truly special. But there's something pretty great about the men and women who officiate their games, too. Like the way they're giving back to their communities. Officiating is a terrific way to stay in shape, meet new people, and stay connected to the game you love. But the biggest reason of all? We need more qualified high school officials here in Texas. And without them, the rest of us would have a whole lot less to cheer about. High school games need officials. High school sports need you. Yeah. Interested in becoming a licensed high school official? Go to highschoolofficials.com to learn more and begin the application process. We are back here at Eastview High School, where Liberty Hill currently leads 7-4 to four 
in this District 25 5A matchup between your Liberty Hill Panthers and the Eastview Patriots. On the mound for Liberty Hill is Logan Bailey in his second inning of work. He'll look to continue the success he had in the bottom of the fourth inning and keep the Liberty Hill lead intact. Nearly the throwdown. And it'll the first hitter of the inning for the Patriots will be Tyler Huerta. Huerta in his third at bat will look to start some offense for the Patriots. Bailey steps off. Neely and Bailey not on the same side on their side here. Bailey taking a sign from Neely now. They agree on one. Bailey set, working out of the stretch. First pitch to Huerta. Curve ball out of the zone for ball one. One no count to Huerta after the first pitch curveball missed. Pitch from Bailey here. That fastball swung on and missed by Huerta. Brings the count to one and one. Bailey looking to keep the Liberty Hill lead alive. Huerta and the Patriots looking to claw their way back into this game. Pitch from Bailey. That fastball hit lightly. The right center field will fall for a leadoff single from Huerta. Lead-off single from Huerta brings up the pitcher Joe Quintanilla, one of the relief pitchers used this game so far. Still in the game, will take his at bat here. Last at bat singled, shows bunt though. Able to lay it down the first base line. Bailey will make the play on it. Able to toss it over to first for out one. Good play by Blay there. Little errant throw from Bailey. Good job by Blay to go and get it for out one. Now with one out. Huerta on second base for the Patriots, and McKinley McLaughlin will head to the box. McLaughlin, the Eastview first baseman, started by the game, looking to drive in a run and push the Patriots closer to the lead. Bailey, first pitch, curveball, fouled weakly into the Patriot dugout by McLaughlin. Huerta on second base, reached on a leadoff single, will look to score for the Patriots. McLaughlin with an 0-1 count after the first pitch foul ball. Bailey set, checks Huerta, checks him again, goes to the plate. High fastball, good stop by Neely. That one had some rise in it. Once again the wind coming in from center field. on this windy Saturday afternoon. Bailey, checking Huerta, goes to the plate. That curveball, little inside, brings a count to two and one. Bailey, set, pitch. That fastball swung on and missed by McLaughlin. Brings the count to two and two. Bailey taking a sign from Neely. Huerta on second base for the Patriots. Bailey. Pitch. That curveball hit right back at Bailey. Good play. They're going to get Huerta in a rundown. Huerta's out at third base. Smart play by Bailey. Ground ball hit right back at him. Huerta going on contact. Bailey, good recognition to get the base runner, the lead base runner at third base. McLaughlin will reach on the fielder's choice. So we'll have two outs now here in the bottom of the fifth with McLaughlin on first base for the Patriots. It brings Peyton Adams to the plate for the Patriots. Adams, the, the cleanup hitter, will look to reach base somehow. Bailey, checking McLaughlin. First pitch to Adams. Fastball in the, in the dirt. Blocked by Neely behind the plate. From 
Vince McLaughlin for taking an extra base. Bailey will look to retire Adams, and will Adams at this at bat. Bailey sets. Pitch to Adams. Curve ball. Low. Brings the count to 2-0. and oh. Bailey. Working to Adams with a 2-0 count. Picks McLaughlin. McLaughlin back in time. Diving back at first base. Fastball in play. Works the count to two and one. Adam Bailey, excuse me. Picks first. McLaughlin back in time. Liberty Hill trying to keep McLaughlin in check. Trying to keep this lead at seven to four here. Leary. Leary will go across the diamond. Throw to Blaze in time for round number three. We're heading to the sixth inning here at ECU High School. I am Jason Heater, and you're listening to Liberty Little Panther Baseball on Vibe Live. Honey, isn't it amazing? What? The, the sacrifice, the dedication, the grit. I mean, they really set an example, don't they? Oh, well, no question. Today's high school athletes are truly special. Not the athletes. Well, who? The officials. Oh. Today's student-athletes are truly special, but there's something pretty great about the men and women who officiate their games, too. Like the way they're giving back to their communities. Officiating is a terrific way to stay in shape, meet new people, and stay connected to the game you love. But the biggest reason of all? We need more qualified high school officials here in Texas. And without them, the rest of us would have a whole lot less to cheer about. High school games need officials. High school sports need you. Great call, Rob. Yeah. Interested in becoming a licensed high school official? Go to highschoolofficials.com to learn more and begin the application process. Question. When you walk into the boardrooms of the most successful companies here in Texas, who do you meet? Answer. Men and women who play high school sports. Education-based high school sports give us more than athletes we can root for. They give us leaders we can depend on. Question, so where will we find tomorrow's leaders? Answer, high school sports. Welcome back here to ECU High School. Burgling back on the mound for the Patriots to start the sixth inning. Brody Blay leading it off for the Panthers. Burgling first pitch. Fastball swung on and missed by Blay for strike one. Blay, the nine-hole hitter, will be at top of the order after this at bat. That pitch fouled back by Blay. Brings the count to 0 2. 0 2 count for Blay. Berglund on the mound for the Patriots. Pitch. That fastball's high. Brings the count to 1 and 2. Blay looking to reach base for Liberty Hill. Pitch. Fouled off weakly by Blay. Good job. Stay alive. Blay just threw his hands at that one. Could have been called a strike on the outside half. Berglund will step off. We'll take a reset. Him and Reynolds trying to get on the same page. Pitch. Grounded weakly to third base. Blay running it out. I have a play at first here. Blay is going to be called safe at first base. McLaughlin unable to come up with it. And the Liberty Hill will have a leadoff base runner. For Blay, we'll have a substitute here. Cade McCoy will come onto the bases. I'm sure he'll be about at first next inning. With the leadoff, little 
infield single by Blay. He'll bring the top of the lineup. So Ryan Leary will step right into the box. Berglund set. Checks McCoy at first base. First pitch to Leary. Curveball over Leary. And McCoy will advance to second base. It's a 1 0 count. That ball bounced off of the Ketter's mitt behind Leary. So now Leary with a runner in scoring position. Berglund set. Looks at McCoy. We're pitching to Leary. Leary shows bunt, misses it. McCoy in a little bit of a rundown situation, able to get back to second base. McCoy was running before the bunt was down. Leary at the plate, trying to move McCoy over in a 1 1 count right now. I'll probably show bunt here again. He doesn't. That fastball is high, works the count to two and one. Leary may, or Coach Hutcherson may let Leary swing here. Leadoff hitter has some faith in the senior. Berglund set, looks at McCoy, goes to the plate. That fastball ground through the hole at shortstop and third. McCoy will get to third and Leary will have a single. Single through the hole by Leary. Has runners at first and third for Liberty Hill. And brings up number 23, Andon Thomas, to the plate. This will be the fourth at bat for the Panthers of this ball game. Thomas will look to add an RBI to his column. Leary on first base. McCoy on third for Liberty Hill. On the mound for the Patriots. Berglund looking to minimize the damage. Berglund set. First pitch to Thomas. Fastball outside for one for the first ball. Berglund checks Leary. Now set. Picks Leary at first base. Leary back in time. Thomas with a 1 0 count at the plate on the first pitch fastball. High and away. Berglund set now. Pitch. Fastball away. Brings the count to 2-0. and Berglund set. Picks Leary. Leary back in time. Not fooled by Berglund's long period. Now runners on first and third. Berglund's set now. Two account for Thomas. Pitch to Thomas. Leary goes. That'll be a strike. Leary will be up easily. No throw made. Now the 2-1 count. Thomas has runners on second and third. Looking to drive in two at this at bat. High out of play down the right field line. So a 2 2 count for Thomas now. He'll have to find a way on here. Facing Ben Berglund, the starting shortstop for the Patriots this afternoon. Pitch. That curveball grounded weakly by Thomas. Uh, second baseman not only make a play. Thomas will be first, say the first, throw there. One run will score for Liberty Hill. Two runs will score for Liberty Hill. And Thomas will be at second base. A series of errors there by the Patriots. Second baseman unable to make the play. Then threw it to first base, where McLaughlin was not covering. Allowed two runs to score, and Thomas to advance to second base. 
still no outs here in the top of the six. Liberty Hill looking to pull away in this one. Now at the plate, number eight, Jackson Knox. With Thomas in scoring position. First pitch to Knox. Knox shows bunt. Able to lay it down. Good sack bunt from Knox. I'll be out number one here. But Knox did his job and moves Thomas over to third base. Looks like EC is going to play infield in here, trying to prevent Thomas on third base from scoring. Anything past the infield scores the run here from Dyer for Dyer. Dyer facing Berglund for the first time. Berglund set. First pitch. Fastball in the dirt for ball one. Berglund, set again now. Pitch to Dyer. Fastball grounded to second base. Second base may be able to make the play, but Thomas will score. Dyer did his job there, and Liberty Hill will now lead 10 to 4. On the RBI ground out by Logan Dyer. Now has two outs in the top of the, sex, the top of the sixth inning. Neutrander at the play with no one on. Berglund will work from the windup with no runners on. First pitch to Neutrander at fastball high works the count to one and zero. And blowing out to right field strong all day. Gusting now pitch from Berglund at fastball off the plate for two and zero. Everyone looking to find the strike zone here. Neutron are looking to extend the inning. That one's low for 3-0. and Pitch here. Fastball at the letters. Called strike one. 3-1 count for Neutron. Looking to add on to what the Panthers have scored so far here. Allen lined into right center field. Right field able to get under it for out number three. We're heading to the bottom of the sixth inning here at Eastview High School. You're listening to Liberty Hill Panther Baseball on Vibe Live. Honey, isn't it amazing? What? The, the sacrifice, the dedication, the grit. I mean, they really set an example, don't they? Oh, well, no question. Today's high school athletes are truly special. Not the athletes. Well, who? The officials. Oh. Today's student athletes are truly special, but there's something pretty great about the men and women who officiate their games too, like the way they're giving back to their communities. Officiating is a terrific way to stay in shape, meet new people, and stay connected to the game you love. But the biggest reason of all? We need more qualified high school officials here in Texas. And without them, the rest of us would have a whole lot less to cheer about. High school games need officials, High school sports need you. Great call, Rob. Yeah. Interested in becoming a licensed high school official? Go to highschoolofficials.com to learn more and begin the application process.
right now. What do you say? We welcome you back here. Bottom of the sixth inning, Bailey with a 32 count to the leadoff batter for the Patriots. Pitch from Bailey here. Fastball hit grounded at Nunchwander. Nunchwander fields it cleanly. We'll make the throw across the diamond for out number one. Good play by Nunchwander. A very good defensive third baseman. Has had a flurry of good plays throughout this district campaign. Sorry about that extended absence. We're back. Our Liberty Hill is looking to close out this game against the Patriots. Here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Eastview running out of time to make a comeback. Pitch to Bailey. First pitch curveball. Two Berglund. Call strike one. Bailey set, working the burglar. Pitch, fastball, a little outside, works the count to one and one. Bailey has got a good job in relief of Blaze Milam, looking to keep these, pan these Patriots quiet. Ball fouled out of play there. Brings the count to one and two. Defensive substitution for Liberty Hill. McCoy did sub in for Blay after the pinch run. So he'll be the new first baseman for Liberty Hill. Bailey set now. Pitch. Fastball. Fouled back to the net by Berglund. Keeps the count at 1 and 2. Liberty Hill leading 10-4 on this Saturday afternoon ball game. Pitch from Bailey here. That curveball finds Berglund, and Berglund will, will advance to first base after being hit by the pitch. With one out here in the bottom of the sixth inning, Liberty Hill will be looking for a ground ball, double play from Ryan Pullen who steps into the box now. Bailey checks Berglund. First pitch to Poland. High fastball. Ball one. Bailey looking to Keep that Panther lead where it is here in this inning. Pick first. Good pick by McCoy at first base. To not allow Berglund to advance on a passed ball. Bailey. Set now. Pitch to Pullen. Fastball low. Pass Neely. Berglund will advance to second base. Patriots trying to find some momentum, claw their way back into this ball game. Running out of time though. Bailey set, checks runner, pitch to Pullen in there for strike one. 
Now the 2-1 count. Bailey faces Pullen with one out here in the half inning. Bailey, pitch, that fastball. Called ball on the check swing. Works the count to three and one. Bailey will attack the strike zone with this one for sure. Bailey checks Berglund. Goes to the plate. Fastball is low. And Pullen will jog down to first. And gives the Patriots runners on first and second. With one out here in the bottom of the sixth. At the plate now. Number four, Tyler Wagner. Looking to drive in some runs for the Patriots. Bailey, looking for a way out of this inning, looking to keep the Panther lead where it's at. We're going to call a balk on that. And throw the first. When you don't step off, you have to throw. So now with two runners in scoring position, Ryan Lear will go calm down Bailey. Liberty Hill, no need. No need to get flustered here. Bailey just needs to work the batter. Find some outs here. First pitch to Wagner. High fastball for ball one. Bailey working for the stretch with two runners on. Pitch. That fastball swung on and missed by Wagoner. One one count for Wagoner. Looking to drive in runs for the Patriots. Pitch. That curveball. Low. Brings the count to two and one. Bailey steps off. Wants a new sign from Neely. Neely gives him something he likes. He's set now. Bailey the pitch. That fastball. Called strike two. Works the count to two and two. Bailey looking to retire Wagoner with this pitch. I would bring two outs to the inning and give some breathing room for Liberty Hill. Pitch from Bailey. Curveball chased by Wagoner. First try out number two. Good throw down to first by Neely. Took his time. Made sure to get the out at first. Now with two outs. It looks like Barkley will head to the plate as a pinch hitter. Kale Barkley. Looking to make an immediate impact on his entrance to the game here. Two outs. Liberty Hill just needs one to escape the inning here. Bailey will look to attack Barclay at this at bat. First pitch. Fastball. Called strike one. Good start to the at bat for Bailey. Able to find the strike zone with that low and away fastball. Takes his sign from Neely. Set now. Goes to the plate. That curveball grounded weakly to Bailey. Bailey will make, take his time. Throw over to first for round number three. Liberty Hill able to get out of the sixth inning without allowing a run. They'll head to the seventh with a six-run lead and will look to retire the Patriots in the bottom of the seventh. You're listening to Liberty Hill Panther Baseball on Vibe Live. The University Interscholastic League would like to thank its corporate sponsors. Without the generous support of these sponsors, many UIL activities would not be possible. The UIL gives special thanks to Balfour, Baylor Scott & White, Dairy Max, Dairy Queen, Ford, Fox Sports Southwest, Gatorade, 
Ellis Construction, Max Preps, the NFHS Network, Nike, Register My Athlete, Spalding, and Texas Farm Bureau Insurance. These generous corporate sponsors support the UIL in all its activities, music, academics, and athletics. The UIL appreciates these sponsors and their participation in all that the UIL does in Texas extracurricular activities. On behalf of the UIL and its corporate sponsors, thank you for supporting UIL activities in your community and enjoy the game. Welcome back here to Eastview Patriot Field where Patriots have made a pitching substitution and brought in McKinley McLaughlin on the mound for the seventh inning. Liberty Hill will look to, to close out the Patriots in the bottom half of this inning and win this district game and go to 5-3 and three in district play. District standings right now. Tied for first is Leander and Cedar Park. Cedar Park falling to Georgetown last night, 8-1. to one in a upset over the fifth-ranked state Timberwolves. Still tied for third is Liberty Hill, Georgetown, and Rouse, all picking, out, all picking up wins right now, or last night, excuse me. And that moves those five teams in the fight for the four playoff spots. Liberty Hill with a win today would help their chances in their playoff potential seating as we head into the second half of district play this week. Looks like Trent Eller is going to get up at bat here. And he'll face McLaughlin. McLaughlin, the first pitch. Fastball, hits Eller. He'll jog down to first base. Following Eller will be number two, Garrett Neely. Catcher of tonight's ball game. Liberty Hill look to just add on some support and close the P Patriots out in the bottom half of the seventh here. McLaughlin working from the stretch with Eller on first. Comes set. First pitch to Neely. Fastball out of the zone for ball one. One no count for Neely after the first pitch fastballs out of the zone. That one also high brings the count to two and zero. Oh. McLaughlin struggling to find the zone here in his relief appearance. McLaughlin set pitch to Neely. That one's in the zone, fouled back by Neely for strike one. One count for Neely. Eller on first base for Liberty Hill. They pick Eller. Eller back in time. New first baseman for the Patriots is Reynolds as McLaughlin's on the mound now. Pitch to the plate. Fastball in the dirt. Good eye by Neely. Brings the count to three and one. Pitch from McLaughlin. Fastball finds the bottom half of the zone. Works Neely to a full count. Neely will have to stay alive and find a way on on this pitch. McLaughlin the pitch. Runner going. He's called out. Eller. We save at second base on the throw down. Neely called out on a fastball at the knees. For out number one. Stavano now steps up to the plate with one out here in the top of the seventh. Trent Eller on second base for Liberty Hill. McLaughlin steps off. Stavano has been hot at the plate this game. Pulling the ball down the right field line. He may do the same here. That's fastball. High in the zone. First pitch ball. 
7-0, back up to the plate with 1-0 count, facing McLaughlin. McLaughlin set, checks, El checks Eller, goes to the plate. He doesn't go to the plate. Checks Eller, Eller back in time. McLaughlin set now. Pitch, curveball, hit weakly by Stavanoa. Champagne able to make the catch at shortstop. Now two outs here in the top half of the seventh for Liberty Hill. Brings Cade McCoy to the plate. McCoy in the game at first base, last inning. Will have his first at bat of the game. McLaughlin set. First pitch to McCoy. Curveball in the dirt. Eller is electing to go to third. He will be safe at third base. Able to avoid the tag by pulling there. So now, runner on third base, McCoy. Looking to capitalize in his limited at-bats this year. McLaughlin working from the windup with Eller on third base. Pitch to McCoy. Fastball high, brings the count to 2-0. and McLaughlin, now the stretch again. That pitch swung on and missed. Brings the count to 2-1. and one. Two one count from McCoy. Pitch, fastball in the dirt, brings it to 3-1. and one. Two outs here in the top of the seventh. Liberty Hill currently leading 10 to 4 in this district matchup, looking to close out the Patriots in the bottom half of this inning and take the district win. Pitch from McLaughlin, fastball fouled out of play down the right field line by McCoy. Wind gusting in from center field right now, but McCoy has a full count. McLaughlin set, checks Eller. Pitch. McCoy chases for out number three, and we will head to the bottom of the seventh inning, where Liberty Hill will look to close out the ECU Patriots and take their fifth district win. I'm Jason Heber, and you're listening to Liberty Hill Panther Baseball on Vibe Live. Meet Josh. Hi, everybody. Josh is a high school basketball player, solid shooter, great teammate. Hey, don't forget my tenacious D. And he's my son. Oh. So, what does Josh do to be the best basketball player he can be? I play tennis. Studies show that student athletes here in Texas who play more than one high school sport are more likely to excel. Tennis does more than improve Josh's conditioning. It gives him a fresh competitive outlet, reduces the risk of injury by cross-training, and introduces him to different coaching techniques and new friends. Don't get me wrong, hoops are my first love. Tennis just gives me a little break. So when the new season begins, Josh isn't burned out on basketball. He's eager to play. And you can see the difference in his game. This message presented by the Texas University Interscholastic League and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Welcome back here to Eastview Patriot Ballpark, where Liberty Hill has sent Tyler Williams to the mound to get the non-save save opportunity. I say that as with a six-run lead, this would not be classified as a save, but Tyler Williams will try to get the save roll here and shut out the Patriots here in the bottom half of the seventh. A win today would move Liberty Hill to five and three in the district campaign so far and would help them in their district standings. Rouse today able to beat the Leander Lions so Rouse now is 5-3. and three. Leander is now 6-2. and two. Liberty Hill, if they win this ballgame, will be tied for third with Rouse. And we will wait. We will await the results of the rest of these district ballgames. Leading off. Leading off for the Patriots. Down to three outs remaining. 
is Tyler Huerta. Williams will try to retire Huerta here. That first pitch curveball, unable to find the zone, will bring the count to 1-0. and Williams set pitch fastball low for 2 and 0 oh. Williams a pitch at fastball inside brings a count to 3 and 0 oh. Williams looking to find the strike zone with this one Back on the rubber now. Williams set. Delivers to Huerta. That fastball's low. Huerta will have a leadoff walk. A walk to Huerta will bring him a great Tyler Champagne. Huerta on first base for the Patriots. Champagne at the plate. Williams. Good block by Neely there on the first pitch fastball in the dirt. Williams still trying to find the strike zone. Picks first. Huerta back in time. Williams set. Pitch. Fastball in the zone for strike one. Williams set working to Champagne. Pitch, fastball, and there for strike two. Williams able to dial it in against Champagne. Looking to retire the Patriots here in the bottom of the seventh. Williams, pitch, curveball, swung on, tipped, caught by Neely for strike one, or for out number one, excuse me. Neat, much needed strike out there from Williams sends champagne packing and brings up McKinley McLaughlin to the plate one out for Liberty Hill a ground ball double play would end it here Williams from the stretch picks Huerta Huerta back in time Williams Staring down McLaughlin. Set now. Pitch. I call the balk. They're going to say he didn't come set. And Huerta will move to second base. Now with Huerta on second base, McLaughlin will try to drive in a run here. First pitch. Fastball way high. Brings the count to 1 0. Huerta advances the third on the pass ball. <laughs> 1 0 count from McLaughlin. Williams the pitch. Fastball, finds the zone, brings a count to one and one. Williams taking a sign, set now. 
pitch. Curveball at the letters. Call the ball. Two and one count from McLaughlin. Wind gusting in now. Williams the pitch. Fastball. In the right field by McLaughlin. Stavanoa going to find it. Unable to make the catch as the wind took it out of play. Ball hit right at Stavanoa. Wind blew it out of play. Now McLaughlin a 2-2 count after the foul ball. We'll look to retire McLaughlin on this one. One out here in the bottom of the seventh. Liberty Hill needing two more to win this ball game. Pitch from Williams. Curveball. Grounded to Knox. Knox able to field it cleanly. Makes the throw over to first for out number two. Patriots will score on that one. But now 10 to 5. Patriots only have one out remaining. Liberty Hill looking to retire. Peyton Adams here. And win this District 25-5A matchup. First pitch from Williams. Grounded to Leary. Leary able to field it cleanly. Makes a throw across the diamond for out number three. Liberty Hill will win this ball game. 10-5. Off a strong offensive performance from the Panther offense. Ooh. We will take a short break and be back with a short post-game segment. You're listening to Liberty Hill Panther Baseball on Vibe Live. The University Interscholastic League would like to thank its corporate sponsors. Without the generous support of these sponsors, many UIL activities would not be possible. The UIL gives special thanks to Balfour, Baylor Scott & White, Dairy Max, Dairy Queen, Ford, Fox Sports Southwest, Gatorade, Hellas Construction, Max Preps, the NFHS Network, Nike, Register My Athlete, Spalding, and Texas Farm Bureau Insurance. These generous corporate sponsors support the UIL in all its activities, music, academics, and athletics. The UIL appreciates these sponsors and their participation in all that the UIL does in Texas extracurricular activities. On behalf of the UIL and its corporate sponsors, thank you for supporting UIL activities in your community and enjoy the game. I loved playing high school sports. I loved the competition, the camaraderie, the bands, the crowds, all the pageantry, and I wanted to keep playing. But I graduated. No college is called and neither did the pros. So. To stay close to the game I loved, I decided to become a high school official. You know, a referee. When I played high school sports, I learned the importance of integrity, good sportsmanship, and respect for the rules. Now as a high school official, I get to help model these same values to others. Maybe the colleges and the pros didn't call, but the kids in Texas did. And now, I'm enjoying the competition, the camaraderie, the bands, the crowds, and all the pageantry of high school sports all over again. Interested in becoming a licensed high school official? Go to highschoolofficials.com to learn more and begin the application process. Well, welcome back here to Eastview High School. Liberty Hill able to take the W, winning 10-5 over the Eastview Patriots in this district matchup. The win moves them to 5-3. They will remain tied for third with at least Strauss, potentially Georgetown. We are awaiting those district results. And we'll play at Rouse next Tuesday at 7 o'clock at Rouse High School. As always, we'll have the game live here on Vibe. We'd love for you to listen in and continue to follow this Panther baseball. These Panther baseball players as they move into 5A and try to keep their winning traditions alive. I'd like to thank my QA today, Deandra, making sure we sound nice and clean for y'all at home, even with through this wind and tough weather conditions. Uh, that being said, I'm Jason Hebner. Thank you for listening today. Have a great rest of your Saturday. <laughs>